my live traders nailed it today. Here's why. Hi traders, a recap of my trading session today. First one I'm going to show you is Marvel. Extremely important. Why? You will see soon. Well, the first thing, Marvel is failing to move higher right now. It's down 5%. It's likely to gap and go, meaning I should short it once it moves up of under 43, which is right over here. I just went short 4,000 shares. Now, what you are about to see is a spike up. My stop is over 43.50. It's a mental stop. It's not a hard stop in the system. That's the important part. Now you will see now that Marvel is spiking up. If you notice the buyers, you will see some buyers, maybe one with large quantity. And the way it moved up in just a few seconds, it's starting right now. Look at that. So you can count a second. It's like five seconds, six seconds, just spiked up. Over 43.50 where should have been my stop, but no, never move out on a spike. Just cool down a little bit, wait for the pullback, and then just wait to see what happens. Now, if it moves now over 43.50, yes, I will move out. But after it pulled back down a little bit, and look at what happens now. It could have taken me out of a fantastically good trade. Now, this is a fast forward of what happened uh, later. And as you can see, uh, Marvel is continuing to move lower and it's about to reach my target. And, um, and again, approximately 50 cent target. It's right there right now, clicking the button, moving out and just took my partial. Remember that do not move out on spikes. Never move out on spikes. If you're a novice trader, use hard stops in the system. It helps you mentally. If you're an experienced trader, I'm trading for 21 years. Do not do that because stocks are likely to retrace. And then after it comes down a little bit, just wait a bit more. Uh, if it moves up again, move out. Certainly move out, but give it the chance to move lower. Don't let the stocks check you out. Well, traders, I'm going to continue showing you the rest of my trades today. But uh, if you like this video so far, we would really appreciate if you could give us a thumb up. Helps our channel, helps more people like you to join us and um, uh, probably helps a lot of people to learn more about uh, day trading. So now let's move to the next uh, trades I have today. My second trade is NEO. Now, NEO is trending higher. NEO is moving higher very, very nicely. Why would I like to short something like that? Well, first, because I just seen a lot of people uh, mentioning that they want to go long NEO. That to itself is a good idea to go short, but because most people usually are wrong. But take a look at uh, the way NEO started today. NEO started with a big gap down today. It's weak. It's likely to come down. And the daily of NEO looks like it should come down. So I just shorted 4,000 shares, expecting it to move lower. Now, my stop is approximately 40 cents, so it should be somewhere over 40 to 30. Lucky enough, it did not reach that. And anyway, remember, never use a hard stop, always use a mental stop. So it's uh, kind of going sideways. Now it's starting to come down and I'm getting ready uh, to take my partial. If it's going to come down around 40 to 50 cents, I'll take my partial. And as you can see, it's starting to move. It's a fast forward and uh, just take a look at the way it comes down now. It's close reaching my target right over here, clicking the button, taking my partial, that's it with NEO. Now, you also need to take a look at the S&P 500. In order to understand this trade, it's not all about NEO. Yes, the daily of NEO is not looking good, but look at the S&P 500. In fact, look back two days. Uh, the first day when it came down strong, the second day when it came down strong, that was yesterday, of course, and today. Now, the market started with a small gap down today, moved up, closed the gap, and in fact, continued moving even higher. Never trust the first 10 minutes. The first 10 minutes are never to be trusted. A lot of open orders coming uh, out from yesterday, pre-market orders. So the market moved up. Don't trust it. The momentum is definitely down. And if you take a look at the Nasdaq, you will see that we already broke down a very strong support. I'm going to take a look at that uh, later. But the market moved up. I did not trust the market to continue. This small red candle you're seeing here indicated to me that NEO is likely to fail. And it's not the only trade I'm going to take short. So let's take a look at the next ones. Next trade is Tesla. Now, I'm moving into Tesla because of the same reasons I moved into NEO. The market moved up. I'm expecting the market to fail and I'm expecting Tesla to fail. And Tesla is just about to come down 
under 660, close to 660, now clicking the button here, and I just moved in short uh, 4,000 shares in Tesla. Now I'm trusting Tesla, uh, mainly because it came down recently in the last few days, it came down rather strong, and I'm expecting it to continue the trend. But more than that, I'm expecting the market to come down. And you know, the S&P is what really dictates the direction of most stocks in the market, especially big ones like Tesla. And that's why, because institutional traders are following the S&P 500. If you don't know that, you should be looking at, into this. Now, that's a fast forward of what happened in Tesla. I just came down to my target. I'm about to click the button, taking my partial right over here at around $15,000 in profit. So Tesla worked exactly at the same time as NEO. Uh, you can see that uh, I already had my uh, uh, NEO trade partial, Tesla trade partial right over here. Now traders, here's my result. 20 minutes into the trading session, I'm up $20,000. That's <laughs> a little bit more than $1,000 a minute. But more important than this, you need to take a look at what my trading room members are doing. Now on the right side, you're seeing our free live YouTube trading room, which you can join freely every day. And on the left side, our live uh, non-delay uh, trading room, which you can join with free links right here below. Plenty of links here below. Look at the numbers here. That's what these guys are doing in 20 minutes. Now, we don't always make money and day trading is not always that simple. And I don't always have four out of four green trades. But you know what? The vast majority of my days, I do. And if you follow us, if you join us, you can definitely do the same with us each and every day. So take a look at the numbers here. That's what people are doing uh, during 20 minutes of trading today. Thank you very much for watching this. Hope you enjoyed. And again, we would really appreciate if you could give us a thumb up if you like this video. And if you do like to trade with us uh, and uh, you know join our trading room, there's plenty of links right here below. And if you do want to watch more videos like this, you can subscribe. There's a button right here and click the notification bell on so you will be notified of my future uploads. And uh, that's it. Just stay green, stay healthy, and I'll see you during the next of uh, my trading week.